Hey guys, Bing here, and today I'm going to show uh, quickly, quickly show you uh, how to place some structure under a curved ramp. Okay, so similar to the this. Okay, so let's start. So first, create a project. And ramp. So arc. I'll create a maybe ten meter radius. Okay. So actually, I'll make it two meter wide. Okay. So go to three D V. Uh, high level and the delete handrail. So now this is a ramp. Uh, w T. So I have this floor plan here. Do a dimension of this ramp. So I'm going to place three a curved beam underneath. Okay. So the first method, just go beam uh, arc topping radius. So I'll place this one first, 11 meter. So place from this point to this point and click again the second one one or ten meter middle point and this point and down and then now I need a here here and down so that's it okay so now the second second method so for the second method I'm going to place uh, three columns so because usually you will have some column okay so like this one okay so I'll go to floor plan and place a column so one two three okay maybe I'll just open the side plan instead WT okay so 3d view side plan so WF while frame radius here along okay. along along and this one I'm going to draw a line in the middle and then along it Okay, so delete this down. So now I have three, one, two, three column underneath this ramp, and uh, I you can manually find this level here and click on that one. So it tells you so a forty point one. So you can manually type, click on the column, and then typing a forty point one. So this will make uh, the column match that height but sometimes so this one's fine you can do another one this one probably it's a little bit hard to find that so uh, level here so not sure where it is maybe in the middle center but uh, if in case it's the columns here and then you um, probably can't really it's a bit hard to find exactly what the level is. So um, I'm going to show you, quickly show you some uh, way to do it. So this ramp is a 150 ramp. So I'm going to place a floor, also a 150 floor. I'll pick this edge and OK. Modify some elements. Pick this edge, drag this up to match. So now we have to so the ramp and floor is that in the same place. So now I what I can do is click on this column attach to the floor. Okay then detach. So now this column stay at this height which is 332.4. So that's a level of here. Okay. Same let's do it again. So attach oops attach and detach so down so this uh, level uh, where here yeah. okay negative 150 
So now our temporary high this uh, floor and ramp because I can just place the beam on these columns. Okay, so the structure beam and this time where's where, where's my radius? Oh here. Yeah. I'll just do it radius. Oops, where is it? Hmm. I've got a ground floor. Okay, this is my radius. So this time I only need this one, the middle radius. Okay, so structure being arc 3D snapping radius 10 meter. And I'll just create SE, pick this. Oops, sorry. S, oh no, sorry, it's still here. SE. And SE, so see, pick this top point of this column and SE again. Okay? And then just move the cursor here, click. And let's do it again. SE, SE, yeah. So now, second one, second one, we just need to go here, Y, offset, and value, um, typing 1 meter. And uh, SE, 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 SE. Okay, last one, negative one meter. SE, 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 SE. Okay, so now if I HR, so you will see we have this beam uh, placed onto the column actually. So they are connected to, uh, linked to the column. And so I'll show you if I if I if I move the column, it will the beam will stay uh, stay with with it. Okay, so Control Z. So that's the two method. So that's the two method. So to place the beams. So which one do you like? Sorry, which one do you prefer? Okay, so that's it for today. Um, uh, if you have any question, let me know. Or if you have like a better idea about how to place these, let me know, please. Okay, thank you. Bye.